Welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. I have two peanut butter and jelly for breakfast today. That's Coach Cool over there. Welcome to hanging out here on the side. Welcome back to another boot camp challenge workout. Today is workout number five. Um, so we're going to be starting off just like we have with our other ones. Strength first, quick break, and then we'll go into our tra uh, we'll transition into our conditioning. Um, before we do that, though, before you get super sweaty, um, do me a quick favor. Go down and like the video and then subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do have new videos that we put out every week. Uh, on this channel, we have 10-minute ab videos, 20-minute body weight videos. We have 40-minute one-weight workout videos like we're going to do today, as well as this entire Boot Camp Challenge workout series. So uh, with that being said, we're going to just hop into this. We're going to start with our warm-up. Coach Cool's going to get us going here. All righty, we're going to get some high kicks in. We're going to do Frankenstein style today, though. So. Both hands out overhead, left foot to right hand, right foot to left hand. Taking away the arm swing today. I appreciate that. Okay, you <laughs> do. <laughs> Go 10 each side, 20 total. It's a bigger number, why not? <clears throat> I asked all my uh, our weekend classes this weekend what's their most used emoji. You know what your most used emoji is? Um, sure, I can think, yeah. yes. Without, without looking, like, what would you think it would be? Uh, I'm 90% sure it's the gay flag. Oh, okay. On brand. But I also... We'll get some arm swings now, 10 forward. Do a lot of Instagram posting, so, I mean, yeah. outfit posting, so. But besides that, if it wasn't the gay flag, um... Switch directions, go backwards. I don't really know that. I use a lot of emojis. What's yours? Uh, mine's definitely the white heart. I use that emoji all the time. Oh. Uh, the uh, rainbow heart. Yeah, 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 slap yourself on the back. There's a rainbow heart? No, but there's a heart in every color. Oh, so you can make a rainbow that I want. Yeah. I use that as well as well. What was uh, some surprising ones from the workout? Um, no surprising ones? Let's do 30 jumping jacks if I think about this. Um. A couple people use like the, the smirking emoji with the eyeglass on, which I thought was interesting. I've never touched that one. Uh, so they're often confused. Somebody, somebody said the peach emoji. Somebody said the eggplant emoji. That was just them advertising. <laughs> <laughs> advertising for everyone else in the group. Hope it worked. We have Saturday workouts. We have Saturday workouts here in New York City, Queens, Manhattan, Brooklyn. So Coach Cole's head coach of Brooklyn. You want to go see him? Five inch worms, please. Hands on the floor. Walk it out to a nice high plank. Hit a push up. Walk it back in. Um, I recently learned from my sister, who's a few years younger than me. Uh, I use like the cry laughing emoji all the time. Sure. Like to replace LOL. Well, apparently, if you're like under 22, that like you don't. That's a no go. That makes you look like a weird old millennial. They like do not use that emoji. Now I get very self-conscious when I use that emoji. What is supposed to be used? The skull and crossbones is mean LOL to them. I know. I know. Don't look at me. I don't know. Huh. But she was just like, yeah, you'd be like such a loser if you texted someone my age that. <laughs> so she well, just says, okay. You know, it's so useful. <laughs> well, if you have a favorite emoji, one that you like to use a lot, comment it down below. Just the emoji, don't say anything else. Let us no, guess what it means. I think we're pretty working for today. Love it's fun to talk about our strength portion. Love it. So for today, we're going to be on a 30 second clock. 30 second rounds, we're going to be rotating through four different stations. First station is going to have, um, well, we'll just start with Coach Cole here, I guess. Hello. So uh, today's workout uses one weight. Coach Cole's going to be using a dumbbell, I'm going to be using a kettlebell. Uh, if you have access to both, you can go ahead and pick whichever one. Today's not a very technical day. Uh, but the first station we're going to have, you're going to choose between three to five strict presses. Let's just say three strict press, going from the shoulder, finishing overhead, upper body only. And then for the rest of this uh, 30 seconds, you're going to go into an AMRAP of push presses. So now you're going to have a break at the knees. So shallow dip, extending through, uh, exploding through the hips and the legs, and then finishing overhead. That's great. Thank you, coach. So left side, we're going to start with, because for most of us, the left side is our weaker side. So pick a number on that left side for your strict press. If you don't know, maybe you can just try to get to five, stop wherever short you end up, and then finish it with push presses. That way, when you get to minute two, same thing, but stick with the same amount of strict presses you did on your weak side. So if that's three, if that's four, that's five. 
For the third station, we're gonna be doing some glute bridges. Coach Colt's ready. He's got his weight on his hips here. He is going to feet are flat on the ground. He is going to open up the hips. So he's gonna squeeze his glutes, fully extend them. He's gonna then come back down, uh, opening them up fully, and then coming back down. You should be able to get somewhere about like 15 in those 30 seconds. Oh, that's great. Thank you. And then the last station is gonna be our tuck hollow position. So for this tuck hollow position, you can see Coach Cole getting set up first. Um, he's got his lower back flat on the ground, shoulders are off the ground, reaching those arms forward. This position is a scaling option that he's doing right now. If you find that you're not able to hold 30 seconds for just that tuck hollow, which uh, I'm calling today the straight legs, so he's gonna go ahead and straighten his legs, squeeze his quads, point his toes, nice straight line going through the middle, focusing on keeping that lower back flat on the ground. That's great, thank you very much, Coach. So those are the stations we're gonna rotate through. We got that for five rounds, then we'll take a break, we'll go into some conditioning and all that. So you got about 60 seconds till we get started. If you need to grab that last drink, if you need to grab that weight. Something I never realized, I was looking for my phone after I asked that question. There are so many emojis that I've never even like, well, so much off. good stuff. Is, is there a way for you to figure out which is the most? Oh, I guess recently used. It has like frequently used or recently used. Like, yeah. I don't usually know which one to use. Yeah. Some of the frequently used ones I don't get though. Like in my frequently used, the blood drop emoji is always in there. I've never used that emoji. Huh. All right, baby, it's a swollen crossbones, but apparently I'm old. Swollen crossbones is laughing. I don't mind being old. Let's take that. We start with 20 seconds? 20 seconds. All right. So we're going to be starting now in just about 15, starting on your left side, three to five trick presses, and then going into push presses for the remainder of the time. We'll go in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Strict press. Squeeze your quads. Squeeze your glutes. And then we're gonna go into push presses, using those legs, jump it up. Good, so you've got this for about another 15 seconds. If you ever need a breath during our strict push pressing, please do so overhead. If you've seen our previous videos, you know this, you know we want us to rest here, which is a bit stronger for us, give us more room to breathe. We're gonna switch sides in three, two, over to the right. Same thing, starting with that strict press, three to five times, whatever number you did on your left. If you're having a hard time not uh, using the lower body, make sure you're squeezing your quads, make sure you're squeezing those glutes, and then just using the upper body until you get into that push press. 10 seconds, and then we're gonna be moving down to the ground, and then we're gonna be doing our glute bridges. We're going down in three, two, one, here we go. Feet flat, weight on the hips. Squeeze the glutes to open up those hips. Back down, good. 30 seconds of these. You got 20 more seconds to go. 15. You really want to be squeezing our butt at the top here. I want you to squeeze your butt so hard and you're like pulling your pants into it. That's just what I want. That means my glutes are on. All the way on. We are hollow holding in. Three, two, one. Wait, stem. Here we go. Alright, so squeeze your quads. Toes are pointed away. Most important detail is that that lower back stays flat on the ground. And then from there, your shoulders are up. You can have those arms by the side. You got about 10 seconds to go, and then we're going right back to the top. Going back to that left side, three to five strict press, and then into push. We're switching in three, two, one. Here we go. Back to it, left side. Try and hang on to that strict press number. I did five the first time. I'm definitely confident doing five all the way through today. Good, 10 seconds. Switch it in five. Two, one. Good, switch into the strict press. Whatever number that you did on that left side. Don't do more than you did on your left side. Even if you think you have it in there, we're gonna to try to be a little more balanced in what we're asking you for your strict movements today. 
We got 10 seconds, and then we're back down to the floor for that glute bridge. Three, two, one, here we go. 30 seconds of glute bridges. If you find yourself, find a really good burr under your butt, you're not able to gently tap and come back up, okay, you just have to rest a little bit here. I would prefer us, you can always bring that weight onto the floor and do some body weight glute bridges. I would prefer a nice consistent movement for 30 seconds. Um, rather than you struggling, or just finding one or two, and a little bit too much rest, a little more rest than we want today. Another five seconds. Three, two, one, and switch. Find your hall. All right. So, one of the challenging parts about this for a lot of us is trying to keep tension in the middle, but also still breathing. So you don't want to be holding your breath, you don't want to be holding your breath for 30 seconds, particularly after all the pressing and the bloopers we were doing. Ideally, this is a little bit of time to catch your breath. Uh oh, we're switching though. Three, two, one. Here we go, back to our left side. Is this round three? This is round three. All right. All right. All right, got about 10 more seconds of push presses, and then we're switching sides. Three, two, one, and hands down, other shoulder, pressing up and down. We know this real good now. Good, got about 15 seconds of push presses, and then we're Back down to the ground for our boot bridges. Three, two, one, on the floor. Here we go, boot bridges. <clears throat> Halfway there for those glute bridges, halfway to go. You got just over 10 seconds. Really pinch that butt at the top. You want to full big squeeze these glutes. Who doesn't want it? And oh. here we go. Hollow, oh, straight into that hollow. Lower back is flat. Think about pulling that belly button down to the ground. Legs are straight. Toes are pointed away. Shoulders are up, and then arms are by your side. Good news, 10 seconds to go, and then we're heading into round number four. Woo, flying today. Five seconds, three, two, one. Here we go, back to the left side. Strict presses, whatever number you've decided on. Make sure you keep that belly button nice and squeezed. Some people like to leave their hand on their belly just to make sure it's nice and tight and we're not arching out too much here. Belly button's tucked under. Kind of similar to you on the floor doing the hall position here. Pushing that belly button towards your spine. Three, two, switch sides. Strict press into push press. Good. 15 seconds to go. Finish up this round and then one more. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, hit the floor. Here we go. Wood bridges. We're getting it. Again, as we're getting into these later rounds, if this movement is not as familiar for you, you can feel free, put the weight to the side, keep it a body weight movement, just try to feel it a little more. Either way, we're switching in five. Hollow in three, two, one, here we go. That hollow position. Squeeze your quads, get those nice straight legs. Make sure those toes are pointed away, lower back is flat, arms by your side. Halfway there, 15 seconds to go. 
Got about 10 seconds, then we're heading into that last round. Last round is two minutes of work, then we'll take a break, get some water, talk about the next part. But first, three, two, one. Here we go, last Ooh. round. On the feet, here we go. Left arm, straight press first. Last straight press you'll do today. Push press, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, other hand. Push press, last 15. Stay steady here, try to keep that dumbbell moving right on through. Another six. Five, four, three, two, on the ground. Here we go. Blue bridges, last time. Burn that booty. Plank work, please. Okay, 15 seconds to go. And then you got 30 seconds in that hollow position. And then we got probably about two minutes of rest or so once we finish this up. So, Let's try and work up until the end. We got five seconds. Go into that hollow in three, two, one. Last 30 seconds. Heck yeah. Find a good squeeze here, belly button on the floor. Good. Last 20 seconds. Hang in there. Again, try to not hold your breath. Try to keep breathing. Last 15. Good. 10 seconds. Finishing in five, three, two, one. All right, go ahead and relax. Cool, hang on out. That was five solid rounds. Take a breath. We will talk about our three mom. Couple seconds. Right? Not bad? Worth a if in, if in those past 10 minutes you, thought you figured out, what your most used emoji is. This is a great time to leave a comment. Pause this comment. Pause. Yeah, pause it, leave a comment. Unpause it. Um, I've been using a lot of the, the face, the face ones recently where you can talk and it's like the talking octopus. I, God, I just feel so out of touch. I don't know anything that it's you like can on Apple. It's like on your phone. My mom sent me one at first, like an octopus, like telling me something. You yeah. know, I love my friend writing with them. It like looks at your face and like you use your bit motion. So you can change it to like, you can be a giraffe. Uh -huh. And it records you talking, and, like the giraffe's talking. You oh. can take your tongue out, the giraffe says something. That's, That's fun. Super underutilized, really funny. I'm like just learning how to like put the screen things on. Like the confetti or the Oh yeah, they're the, like, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> There was a period in time where I texted my mom and every text I sent her had like competitive bullets on it. She got very annoyed. I'm sure it gets old really fast. <laughs> Alright, our workout today. Every three minutes we have four different movements that are gonna come. We're gonna hit five rounds. This is gonna be a scorable workout. We're talking about scoring this. Three, two, one, go. We have a few minutes to start with 100 toe taps. All right, give me a second. I can do it. No, 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 I'm just gonna start with the clock. Oh. Yeah, I have a clock, don't worry. 100 toe taps. Well, Todd is going to tap his right foot on the bell, tap his left foot on the bell, he can go as slow or as fast as he would like. A little bit of cardio, a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 hundred. All right. You can tap the bell, you can tap Brooklyn, you can tap a pillow, anything you can tap your toes on, that's a little bit elevated of a target. After that, he's going to pick up his dumbbell or kettlebell. That's the last one for. I know, I'm laughing. I'm only laughing. So I was waiting for you to say a pillow, because I've gotten a couple messages that are like, enough with the pillows. And so I thought it was going to happen, and we were going to get more messages, but you didn't say a pillow. But now I did, and so here we are. <laughs> Alright. Tom's going to do 10 
thrusters on his left arm. He's going to get a full squat for me, and he's going to punch overhead at the top. Squat, punch. After 10 on his left arm, he's going to do 10 on his right arm. So 100 toe taps, 10 thrusters on each arm, please. Then you'll set the bell down. We're going to hit 100 butt kicks. Super duper simple. Kick yourself in the butt. Each one counts as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 100. After that, for the remainder of our three minutes, we have an AMRAP of burpees over your belt. So you're going to do as many burpees. Hit the floor on one side of the bell. Pop the floor, step up. Two for takeoff, two for land over. Hit the floor on the other side. You'll do as many burpees over your belt as you so please until that three minutes is up, in which case we will start right back on the top for our toe taps. We're scoring today. We will count our burpees for each round. There are going to be five rounds. We're going to add the, the score up at the end. Your total number of burpees you do today will be your score. Do you have a goal? How many burpees do you want to do today? Um, for a goal for burpees for today, I think that 50. 50 would be moving? 50 is I a, 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 yeah. I agree. a number to be proud of. All right, five rounds, 100 toe taps, 10 thrusts on each arm, 100 butt kicks, and then burpees over the belt for a score. Five rounds, we're gonna go in about 60 seconds. Well, that idea. If you, um, I'll say it now, but I'll probably say it again. If you're newer to trying to keep score over multiple rounds, the easiest thing to do is just keep a cumulative total. So if you get 10 burpees in the first round, when you get to the second round, just go to 11, 12, 13, and then by the end, the score is super easy. And then you owe us two things. You can put in the same message if you want. An emoji that you use the most, and then your total burpees from today's workout. All right. Three minute rounds. Doing this for five rounds. All right, 30 seconds, and we're moving. Going in 15, we're starting with 100 taps. Each time you were toe to tap the bell, we'll count for one. That's all. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go today. You may go as slow or as fast as you're comfortable tapping. As long as you keep some steady, consistent movement, we'll be happy with it today. You ever seen the movie Happy Feet? This is what we're doing. Good movie. Hundred is a large number. We're doing hundred toe taps, hundred butt kicks in a bit. Stay moving. Go by faster than you think. Try not to talk or yell at the camera or else you do what I just did, and that is forget where you're on. So I'm just gonna tap with Todd. And good news, we're done. Until Here we he's go. done. All right, <laughs> 10 thrusters per arm. Susan on first, Todd's doing the left. I would suggest left. Full squat, full we'll punch overhead. Just got over that one minute mark. 10 thrusters per side. Uh, so those thrusters unbroken. If you want a break, I would suggest taking a break between your two sets of 10. You don't want to get to your second arm, do five, and then need a break. Cool, break in between. Aim for full, unbroken sets of 10 for most of us. Kick yourself in the butt. Super simple. All right, we got 50 seconds left. I just finished my 100th butt kicker. So if you're keeping pace with me, you should definitely be able to get 10 burpees in during that time. Chest to the ground, two feet to jump, two feet to land. 
If you are not comfortable hopping over your kettlebell, that is totally fine with me. You have two options here. You can hop behind it, pretend you're hopping over it, or you can step up and over it. Right? Either of those is fine with me. We'll count it towards our total scores. Right? Keep counting. Here we go. Down your last 15 seconds. Once we get there, we're going right back to the top. 10 seconds, we're going back into the sub tax. Back at it in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Two things. Yes. One, non gay, no gay flag or gay hearts. The fist bump is my most commonly used emoji. Uh -huh. Two, this one. Yeah, or this one. This one? Yeah. Two. Can I get some fist pumps going right now? We're going to do the hats. Every time. Okay. Um, and I also have a blood drop, which I've never used. So, great. They must just put it there. I actually think it's a newer one. So maybe they're just trying to spread awareness. <laughs> get done with those toe taps. Go into those thrusters. So, you can do 10 per side. You can do 5-5, five, 5-5 five. Five, five if you want, do all 10, take a break, do all 10, whatever makes sense for you today. Just know, the more you use your legs, the more you think about squeezing your glutes, and your, sorry, your quads and your glutes as you're coming up, the easier that thruster is going to be to finish overhead. Coming back down, if it's a dumbbell or if it's a kettlebell, 
You should be coming all the way back down to your shoulder. Either your thumb gets to your shoulder or the head of the dumbbell comes to your shoulder. You're only gonna get it strong as the range of motion you train through. So let's try to make sure you go through that full range of motion. Coming all the way down, nice lockout overhead. One fifteen to go. Move on to your butt kicks. The goal should be today, or past halfway through the day, to always just get one burpee. And get to the burpees, that's a win. Don't care what our score is, but we can keep counting up. This is our what round? It's round three. We've got two more. Nice. Today feels hard, but also fast. It's kind of weird. 30 seconds to go. Okay, build all the rest in for today. On that movement train. Last right, stop moving, we need to keep moving. 20 seconds. Back to our toe taps. Ten seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. Toe taps coming up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last two rounds. Speaking of wake up times, I saw this thing recently. Really freaked me out. Not really, but a little bit. Thinking about like, let's say seven thirty is a really common wake up time, right? Sure. Like. At 7.30 on the East Coast, like, 50 million people's alarms go off at the same exact time. Yeah. And they all, like, roll out of bed and hit it at the same exact time. I'm really, really weirded out thinking about that. Which, that why my alarm is now at 4.36. Because you don't want to be waking up at other I just feel like, I don't know. You, you want to be original. You want to be unique. I'm super, super alternative. <laughs> I only listen to the Black Keys. All right, don't need our thrusters. We got this round and one more. Let's do it. Come on. Also, the only alarm that'll wake me up is like the like alarm alarm. We are on that red train today. So we've got a little over a minute, switch arms, come on to the butt kicks, and then you get it done. We got one more round coming up after this. We're all here for it, so it's over. Over halfway. All right. Butt kicks. Hanging on today. That heart is pumping. Last minute. Forty-five seconds to go. Seconds, then our last round. Seven, six, five, take a breath. Four, three, two, one. We are on. Start tapping. Got this far. Finish that. Last three minutes of work. Get this done, you're done. Two and a half minutes to go. Every movement you're on 
this is the last movement for today. Get through these 100 toe taps, you're done with the toe taps. Get through the thrusters, maybe the hardest part. Last time for those thrusters. And then this is your last chance to see how many burpees you can get to round off that score. So, you, don't, you know you don't have to immediately go into anything after this, which if you've been stopping a couple reps short, because you know what's coming, no need to do that today. Those extra couple reps can go into your score for the day. You got just about two minutes to go. Ten thrusters per side. Last time for those thrusters. Here we go. One minute and two seconds left, but we are keeping ourselves frustrating. Here we go. Go for it. Let's go. Less than a minute to go. Finish nice and strong. Hang on, the goal should be to reach these burpees. If our heart's feeling it, our lungs are feeling it, maybe our butt's feeling it, go through it for me. You can be here for another 30 with us. Get one burpee for me in the last round. Or two, or three. Here we go. Come on, Hang on, 20 seconds. 20 seconds of hard work. How you went is everything. Don't care how we started. Tell we get there. Hang on, up and over. Couple more, keep moving for me. Last five minutes. Four, three, two, one, and time. Woo. Woo. Nice wow. job. Wow. Nice job, nice job. Hi. You want to go find the ball? Go find, go find the ball. Go find the ball. Nice job today, we lots of breathing. We did a few hundred reps of stuff today, so we soaked about it. All right. So as you catch your breath here, you made it. Coach Cool was saying it earlier, we really reduced the amount of rest that we put in today's workout. So a little more challenging if you've been doing these challenges, but this is workout number five. We're going to workout number six. Seemed like a good time to start to dial it up a little bit. So before we go, a couple quick things. Again, two scores or two comments, your favorite emoji and your total burpees that you did for today's workout. So if you can go ahead and leave that in the comments while you're there, like the video, and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you are in the New York City area, we have classes every weekend, every Saturday, uh, in Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. So you can go into the description and find out info about all of that. Um, if you're into personal training, that's more your thing, that one-on-one, -on -one, same boroughs, we still offer those same services. We have our workout gear online, a lot of the stuff that you're seeing, plus a ton more options. All that's listed down in the description. If you want to say hi or follow Outfit on Instagram, see Coach Cole, myself, Brooklyn, all of our Instagram accounts we put in down there. So with all that being said, we're going to get out of here. I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. That's Brooklyn. We'll see you next time. Peace.